welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been on here for quite a long time, but you're probably wondering where have you been? What have you been up to? And truth be told, nothing. I really haven't done much, if I'm gonna be quite honest. So without further ado, we're just gonna get to, this is just gonna be a cute little makeup tutorial, like my updated everyday makeup tutorial and slightly where I've been, but if I haven't been anywhere, it's gonna be hard to tell you where I've been. So, if you want to see that, then I suggest that you continue watching. So, for everyday makeup, I've been liking this, well, I guess I'll start off with primer. Thank you. I've been from the camera in a second. So, I apologize for me in general. So, I'm sitting at my dresser. I let a stool so I can start filming more YouTube videos. So, I didn't want to stand up because that's a lot. First, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Prime Primer and Base Primer. And I'm putting that, like, I'll put it on my cheeks where my acne is really, and my nose, and a little bit the rest of my forehead. And I actually does rub around anywhere that I think, like, might need it. But, um, truth be told, I've been gone from YouTube since December or so. I mean, I posted um, I posted a short, but that was for a girl group I was in. So I, I want to tell us in chronological order, but I know that I'm gonna get off track. So I feel like it's no point starting. Oh, she, see, see, I keep getting like sidetracked. I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. Mine is in the shade 410. It's a little light, but like, it's also starting to be summer. I keep going out in the sun, so I keep getting darker, but it's fun. So I bought a few foundations, a few foundations inside a darker shade, just so I could have options. So I hope everybody's doing okay. Hope you're doing fine. I hope that, like, you're feeling better because this COVID stuff. I guess it's almost over. Right now I'm half vex and. I uh, gotta get my other shot in like, it's less than a month. So hopefully that goes well. Um, I got the Moderna shot. It didn't really do anything. My arm was sore for like a day and a half. That was it. And it wasn't really sore, sore. It was like, okay, my arm. I actually don't usually feel like this, but it wasn't really a pain. But that went well. Um, so COVID is starting to finally stop. I feel like that's why, well not that's why, I lost my energy. For YouTube, honestly, my energy for YouTube went away because editing, 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 editing is a lot of um, work, and I guess I wasn't cut out for it. Just saying, but um, I plan on being on here more often, so please look forward to that, and please subscribe if you already haven't. I told y'all I haven't filmed this so long, so. I apologize for me being all out of whack, all out of order. Okay, so now that we got foundation on, I'm going with my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer in the shade D2-3D. And the bottle looks like this. Um, other than doing nothing, I have been, I practice music because I, you know, I feel, oh, my English is terrible. You know, I haven't been studying my other languages like I should have. But I've been practicing music somewhat. Today was a good practice day. I recorded and I posted some things on Instagram on my close friend story just so I could get um an uh, insight onto like where people like okay. I post stuff on there just so I could get like a view of what people think of my voice. It's not gonna like make me not sing or something. Somebody don't like it because music is very subjective and everybody likes something different. So I can't really look at everybody likes it, but some people like it, which is great. And if somebody doesn't, oh well. I mean, some people don't like Rihanna or Beyonce voice in like DC where they are now. But I just hope that you all are doing well. Like that's one of my main things because life got hard, honestly. It went up and down. I had like, I had a serious problem, which I really can't talk about because it's very, very serious. But 
other than that, like, I mean, I hurt my hip. I couldn't work. And, I mean, it still messes up here and there. Uh, then I gotta get um, flat foot surgery, honestly. Because my foot and my... I just think... I just... Oops. I always think that everything leads, like, from... Or stems from my flat feet. Because that's how I've been most of my life. Like, if I have an injury or pain somewhere, like, on my back, hip ankle or something that like wasn't obviously caused and I always assume that's from my foot or feet because yeah it's fun very much my feet are very flat that's really how much I can like describe it but I'm working on like I need to exercise more but I mean I wear like a waist this is all over the place but I hope you're still here I wear a waist. I wear a waist trainer. Oh my goodness! I wear a waist trainer, so I can start trying to get into shape, which I'm already like. My body's automatically athletic because I grew up as an athlete. Oh my goodness! I was not saying the product. Well, I only went with powder. My powder was an Anastasia Beverly Hills. See, look. My setting powder was Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Setting Powder. And right now, I'm going in with my Milani Cheek Kiss Inside Blushing Berry. It's just a red powder to cream blush, cream the powder. Yeah. And I really like it because it really do, and it does wonders for my skin. I'm not going to bronze or like contour or anything because my daily makeup, I'm not really into stuff like that. So, yeah, back to what we were talking about, which I forgot. My memory is also really bad, so. <laughs> oh yeah, talking about getting into shape. I've been dancing, but like on and off really, because I don't really have time. Being an adult is hard, because, oh, I turned 22. And, well, shoot, I turned 20, not 22. And I, oh, Fenty Beauty. This thing fell off, but it's the gold highlighter. But I turned 20, and life has been, it's been fun since, like, I mean, I'm barely 20. It's only been a little bit over a month or so. You can't really do anything, like, that you couldn't do at 18 or whatever. Even 19, like, you couldn't do anything different. So, I guess the next big birthday is 21. That just really feel like drinking, I guess, but I don't even drink. I, mean, I hope I don't drink. I'm underage. But, um, my brain keeps going all over the place. I just been trying to get my mind together. Also, uh, if you've been here for a long time, you know I struggle with mental illnesses. Well, not mental illnesses. Mental health disorders is a better word. So, I've been taking my medicine. I feel better. Everything is coming, like, back into focus because my life, like, everything felt dream. Like, oh, I'm going with the e.l.f. clear brow and lash mascara. It's a dual little thing. Just, like, the best thing that's coming to my life, makeup-wise. Because, like, I didn't have an eyebrow gel. And I tried to use, like, mascara, but it made my eyebrows darker, which defeats the purpose. So I wanted, like, a gel. And this is $3 at Target, I believe. And it's very beautiful. Like, I'm not gonna do any mascara because I don't really see any. Like, my lashes are fine as is. And I have this bump, it won't go away. So please, you know that. So, the last thing I have to do is lip. And I think I'm gonna take a brown lip liner. I'm gonna go with my LA Girl Perfect Precision. Well, it says eyeliner, but I use it as a lip liner. And it's in the, well, it's just in the shade brown. And I don't really, I like to line my lips and put like a clear gloss on. Just line my lips with brown. It doesn't matter if it's neat because I'm not lining the other anyway. And for lip gloss, I'm going in with the ColourPop Luxe Gloss, and it's just in the shade clear. 
and I'm gonna throw that on it. It smells really good. It smells like tropical something like coconut and coconut. I don't know the other scent that smell. All right, and this is the finished look. This is my everyday updated makeup routine. I'll try to link the um, products in the description box because I never do that, but I'm trying to get back on my YouTube grind and trying to actually, like, trying to be a good YouTuber. So, I thank you all for watching, and if you're still here, like, at this point, I feel like you should just subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one, which hopefully will be soon, because I'm going to try to keep everything, like, I'm going to try to post like at least twice a week but don't hold me up to that because i'm struggling at least once a week so thank you and see you guys Ooh.